you know, guys, uh, I just want us to listen to his speech. Uh, what a speech. We know who the number one money launderer is. We know <laughs> we know who failed to deliver job cre local, to create more jobs for people. We know I'm sure my process went back and listened to that speech and was like this girl, this one, the troublemaker, this one. You know, if I can steal her, you know, bring it to my part and make her, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I, I you know what? You're not. I was very impressed. I was very impressed by the speech that I needed to create its specific and own video. So what I'm going to do right now, just give me a moment. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Yay, yay, yay. This girl, this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl. Ha! Huh. Guys, um, I can promise you, listening to the next uh, slides here, you're going to be impressed. The way she constructs uh, she says that we look amongst ourselves, the youth, we know the criminals are. We know who stole our land and our uh, look uh, from our grand grandmothers, who stole our minds and who stole COVID nineteen funds. Uh, <laughs> yeah. who stole Tembisa Hospital's money, who stole SAA, who, uh, Sasol, and who's stealing Escom, Transnet, Prasa. Even privatizing our water. We know who stole the money that is meant to eradicate pit toilet in the Eastern Cape. We know who stole NSFAS money. We know the mafias of the uh, of the stain of <laughs> the haste and the look. And definitely we know the number one money launderer is who the one look money launderer is. There is nothing else. Like there's nothing the establishment um masquerading as as what you my thought you na lady na lady na lady na lady my lady masquerading as the government of national unity can do uh, deter us from seeking our general our uh, uh, our uh, generational mission the government of order of the ANC has fooled us all that the battle line has been drawn it is the GNU versus the people of South Africa. Hey! Hey! Hi, bo, guys. Hi, bo. I'm cool. 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 It was Naledi versus uh versus uh, e, 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 look, e, 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 Naledi versus EFF guys. Have you noticed this week, man? They were awake. You know what I'm saying? They brought their A game to Parliament at the opening of the Parliament, just at the beginning. They've already brought their A game. Wow, I'm super impressed. I don't know about you, but I'm super impressed that yeah, it seems like they have prepared for this moment. They are stealing the moment in Parliament. The genuine is not stepping up and there's no way catching up with these people because these people, they've prepared themselves that we are an opposition party. Since we are an opposition party, we'll make the most out of it. So I want you to listen to the full speech, Tagana Lady, here. Hey, guys, please listen to this. <laughs> but before we, you can do that, right, maybe guys, I'll see you on the next video. But before you can start listening to the speech, Tagana Lady, I would also like you to um, do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed to be young is to be in a stage of becoming of working towards your goals and aspirations to transition from being dependent to independent however the youth of this country are perpetual children 
and some will never know independence until their old age. At the realization of how doomed we are under your leadership, Mr. President, thousands continue to give in to Nyaube, and young women and girls amount to bottle girls for you and your friends at the peak of their vibrancy and zeal for life and prosperity. We live with our parents, and finding a 40-year-old man asking his mother for bread is more common than otherwise. This phenomenon is known as the Ramaphosa economy. Joblessness, poverty, and constantly questioning if we are truly the young adults of today. In 2018, Mr. President, you launched the Jobs Summit and promised the youth of this country 275,000 jobs per year. You failed. In 2019, you promised 2 million jobs and an end to hunger, halving of crime and empowering the school curriculum where a 10-year-old will be able to read for comprehension. You failed. In 2020, you unveiled a 100 billion rand fund to create jobs in the public sector for the youth. You failed. You launched the NSP against GBV and femicide, and four years later, on the eve of elections 2024, the murderer of Kirisaleti El Sindonje was granted bail of 2,000 rands. You failed. In 2021, you spoke about building new cities and the National Youth Development Agency would fund 1,000 young entrepreneurs in 100 days. You failed. In 2022, plagued by your own failures over the years, you promised the National Youth Service would create a modest 50,000 jobs in its first phase. You failed. In 2023, you came here and praised yourself for the youth employment service that placed 100,000 youth in peace jobs that lasted nothing more than 12 months. Once again, you failed. Yesterday, you came to this house and promised 2 million jobs to the youth of South Africa. It is fair and deliberate to then say that this time next year, the result will once again be not achieved and failed. When you became president in 2018, youth unemployment was sitting at 43%. And nearly seven years into your presidency, youth unemployment currently sits at 45% for individuals aged 15 to 34, and a whopping 59% for young people aged 15 to 24. Your presidency is characterized by many and many promises and many, many failures. It is now apparent that as the youth of today, we must ready ourselves psychologically, like the youth of 1976, for the biggest fight against the establishment. The establishment has charged you, Mr. President, at the forefront as the weapon that is formed against us. The youth of today, like Nelson Mandela, who is now hailed as an icon of peace, must be ready to be called terrorists. We must be ready to be called criminals. We must be ready to be jailed for crimes we did not commit. We must be ready to be character assassinated like Idam Doana, Robert Sobukwe, Ungo Putitiro, Steve Biko, Winnie Mandela, and Julius Malema. But amongst ourselves, amongst ourselves as the youth of this country, we know who the true criminals are. We know who stole our land from our grandmothers. We know who stole our minds. We know who stole COVID-19 funds that was meant to keep our people alive. We know who stole Tembisa Hospital money. We know who stole SAA, ISCO, Sasol, Telcom. We know who is now stealing ESCOM, Transnet, Prasa, and even privatizing our water. All the while, you are creating an impression that these are natural disasters, despite the fact that they are orchestrated by the true criminals of the government of today, deployed by the Oppenheimers. We know who stole the money that is meant to eradicate pit toilets in the Eastern Cape. We know who stole NSFAS money. We know the mafias of the Steinhoff heist. We know the thugs of the Skills Development Fund. And we definitely know who the number one money launderer is. There is absolutely nothing that the establishment masquerading as a government of national unity can do to deter us, the youth of today, from seeking out our generational mission. The government of the ANC has not fooled all of us.
It is under the ANC that we saw privatization of state-owned entities at a large scale, much higher than that of the apartheid government. A trail of privatization that is so aggressive that even our health care is not spared through the NHI. The rise of the establishment and the collapse of the state takes shape under the government of the ANC. That is the legacy of the ANC today. The positive outcomes of all of this neoliberal facade of the government of the day is that we now rightly characterize the neoliberal agenda encompassing of all its participants who are part of the GNU coalition. We now know who the enemy of economic freedom is. Even in the past, even if in the past, they pretended to be a part of us and spoke like the forefathers of the emancipation movement. The battle lines have been drawn. It is the subject of the Oppenheimer, the GNU coalition versus the people of South Africa. The youth of this country will continue to chant economic freedom in our lifetime. We will continue to present bills in this house that call for expropriation of land without compensation. We will continue to call for nationalization of mines, banks and other strategic sectors. We will push back against your corruption and hold the captains of the ruling class accountable. We will fight for the scrapping of student debt and continue to call for quality, free and decolonized education in our lifetime. We will continue to call for free health care, housing, water and sanitation. We will continue to remind you that the young people in this country deserve real jobs. We want industrial development, insourcing of security guards and cleaners, free pets, Mr. President, and all those rent manipulators to be arrested and to rot in jail. The people's power is rising in Africa and we will not be left behind.